Hi, welcome to my video on the addition of rational expressions with the same denominator. So this video we're going to add fractions. But the, when you add fractions, the denominator has to be the same. Adding rational expressions with the same denominator. Recall, when adding rational numbers with the same denominator, you add the numerators, keep the denominator, and simplify if possible. Examples. 2 over 9 plus 4 over 9 is 9. 2 plus 4 is 6. And notice 6 over 9 can be reduced. 3 in the 6 goes 2. 3 in the 9 goes 3. Example B, uh, 9 over 10 add on negative 6 over 10. You add your numerators. 9 subtract 6 is 3. And we keep the 10. So we add the numerators and keep the denominator. We cannot simplify. When adding rational expressions, each expression must have the same denominator. If the denominators are the same, then you add the numerators, keep the denominator, and simplify if possible. Let's do some examples. Simplify each. Notice 3 over x, 3x over 7 plus x over 7. We have the same denominator, so we write that down. And we add 4x add on x, sorry, 3x add on 1x is 4x, and you can't reduce. B, 2 over 2y over 15 plus 7y over 15. We add 2y and 7y gives us 9y because they're like terms. All over the common denominator 15. Notice 9 and 15 have a common factor of 3. So 3 into 9 goes 3, so that's 3y. Three, 3 into 15 goes 5, so it's fully simplified. C, we're going to add these two. The common denominator is 8x. Write it down. Add the numerators. 2 plus 6 is 8. And we got 8x, 8 over 8x. The 8s cancel out, and I get 1 over x. D, we're adding fractions. We have a common denominator, so we keep the denominator 12, and we add our numerators. So we add x to 8x, which gives us 9x, and plus 2 minus 2 gives us 0. So we have 9x over 12, and 3 is a common factor, so 3 into 9 goes 3, that's an x. 3 into 12 goes 4. So again, you're... Uh, you need a common denominator, and when you do, you add your numerators and keep your denominator and simplify if possible. E. Both fractions have the same denominator, so we we'll write that denominator down, x plus 2, and we'll add up our numerators. So we add x to x, which is 2x. We add 3 to 4 gives us 7. And 2x plus 7 can't be simplified, so that's as far as we can go. F. We're adding fractions. We have a common denominator, which is x minus 1. And we add our numerators. When we add these, we add like terms. So 3x plus 1x is 4x. Negative 5 add on 1 is negative 4. But remember, we always try to simplify. So notice that 4 is a common factor in the expression on the top. 4x divided by 4 is x. 4 divided by 4 is Negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1. Now we have it factored. So notice that x minus 1 is common, so we cancel it out. So the answer is 4 over 1 or 4. G, we're adding fractions. When we add fractions, we need a common denominator. The common denominator is x plus 3, so I'll write that down. And we add our numerators. When we add these numerators, we add in descending order. So x squared and 4x and 7 subtract 4 is 3. Notice we have an x squared this might factor so that's a 1 so let's try to factor it so that's x squared is x and x product is 3 so it's got to be 3 and 1 and product is positive and sum is positive so it's two pluses all over x plus 3 
we have a fully factored and the x plus 3 is common factor top and bottom so we cancel it the x plus 3 so we get x plus 1 all over 1 which is x plus 1 h again we're adding fractions we need the same denominator so they both have the same denominator so we write it down done and we add our numerators 5x plus x is 6x 2 plus 10 is 12 and we try to factor if we can to simplify it well the bottom is factorable because the, the denominator has a difference of two squares x squared minus 2 squared is x and x 2 and 2 with a plus and a minus and the numerator got a 6 as a GCF take out the 6 as a common factor 6x divided by 6 is x 12 divided by 6 is plus 2 and do we have any factors the same x plus 2 is common on the top and bottom so we cancel them out so we get 6 over x minus 2 and I notice I have just different types of problems very similar they all have a common denominator the common denominator is x squared minus 2x minus 3 so we add our numerators like terms negative 6x and 4x is negative 2x minus 4 plus 10 is plus 6 can we factor the numerator yes negative 2 is coming out 2 is the GCF but we always remove the negative negative 2x divided by negative 2 is x plus 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3 and we have a trinomial with a 1 coefficient so it might be and only might be if this is going to simplify this bottom factor must have an x minus 3 so x with a 1 coefficient x squared is x and x factors of 3 are 3 and 1 and what's the odds this is probably going to be a minus 3 if the product is negative 3 then that means there are a plus and a minus so I got a plus 3 minus 1 or a minus 3 plus 1 so it's a minus 3 plus 1 because when you multiply negative 3 and 1 you get a negative 3 when you add a negative 3 and 1 you get a negative 2 fully factored x minus 3 is common so we cancel them out so it's a negative 2 over x plus 1 and we have another page to do for extra practice again the more practice that you do the better you are in math all the time practice 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 makes you better now pause each one of these and work out your answers to see if you're going to do okay common denominator is 25 we had our numerators 4x and 6x is 10x and 5 goes into 10 two times, 5 goes into 25 five times, so 2x over 5. Common denominator is x minus 2. Remember, you're adding fractions, you need a common denominator. The common denominator is x minus 2, you write it down. Add the numerators, 3x add on x is 4x. Negative 7 add on negative 8 is negative 15. And 4 can't come out, so I can't get a factor of x minus 2. So it's fully done. We're adding fractions. We need a common denominator, which is x plus 6. We add negative 2x plus x is negative x. We add negative 5, negative 1, negative 6. And we notice that negative can come out. So negative x divided by negative 1 is x negative 6 divided by negative 1 is plus 6 all over x plus 6 x plus 6 is a common factor top and bottom so when you cancel them out you get a negative 1 notice we take a negative out when you take a negative out of these two both of these change to opposite signs so that negative becomes a positive and that negative becomes a positive really what you're doing is dividing by when you take out a negative you're dividing both of these by negative one number four we're adding fractions or rational expressions same thing but very similar common denominator is x plus four add we add in descending order so x squared first then the x's which is 5x and then the constant which is four and is it possible that this can factor so x plus four is on the bottom 
and can this factor, well, I got a 1, so let's, let's see. If this is going to simplify, one of these is going to be x plus 4. So this is x and x. Factors of 4 to give you a 5 are 4 and 1. Product is positive. Sum is po Product is plus 4. The sum is plus 5, so it's a plus 4 plus 1. x plus 4 cancels. So this simplifies to x plus 1 over 1, which is x plus 1. Number 5, again, the common denominator, write it down, 14x minus 7. Add up the numerators, uh, 3x squared and x squared, one, 3 and 1 makes 4, so it's 4x squared. And you add on, plus 4 minus 5 is negative 1. And looks like the difference of 2 squares, so we'll factor. 2x squared is, sorry, 4x squared is 2x and 2x. Factors of 1 are 1 and 1, with a plus and a minus, because that's the difference of 2 squares. That's a 2x squared minus 1 squared. So that's the difference of 2 squares, 2x, 2x, 1, 1, plus, minus. And 7 is a GCF. Take the 7 out. 14x divided by 7 is 2x. Negative 7 divided by 7 is negative 1. And x... 2x minus 1 is common, cancel them. So the answer to this problem is 2x plus 1 all over 7. Number 6, common denominator. We're adding fractions. We need a common denominator. We have it. x squared minus 9. We add up our numerators. It's descending order. Let's add the x squared first. It's only one of them. Negative 4x plus x is negative 3x. Plus 1 minus 1 is 0. They cancel out. And we try to factor. Let's see. x comes out of the top. x squared divided by x is x. Negative 3x divided by x is negative 3. And x squared minus 9 looks like the difference of two squares. So, so x squared is x and x. Square root of 9 is 3, so it's 3 and 3. And we have a plus and a minus. And... Notice the x minus 3 is a common factor on the top, so they cancel out. So we get x over x plus 3. And we cannot cancel this x with this x because you're adding. You cannot cancel into addition. Either you've got an x on the bottom as a factor times uh, this. So if I had an x right here times this, then the x would cancel. Or if I had an x plus 3 right here, I could cancel. But I can't cancel right now because they're adding. Number seven. We have a we're adding fractions, so we have a common denominator. So the common denominator is four times x minus two. And we add our numerators. We x squared first, so it's x squared. X add on negative two is negative x. Plus three minus five is negative two. Now, can the numerator factor? Possible. If, again, the denominator is 4 times x minus 2. If this is going to, if this is going to factor, then I have to have an x minus 2 as a factor here. Well, let's try it. We have a 1, so we got 1x squared, so that's two brackets. x squared is x and x. The factors of 2, the product is negative 2, so the factors of 2 are 2 and 1. Product is negative, so I have to have a plus and a minus. So to add to give me negative 1, I need a negative 2 plus 1. Multiply negative 2 times 1, negative 2. Add negative 2 and 1 plus 1. And x minus 2 is a common factor. Cancel. So I get x plus 1 over 4. And number 8. Let's see. Uh, don't have a common, I don't have a, but we got to do PEMDAS. We should get rid of this. I can't do anything in here. So let's do the exponent. What does a negative exponent do with a fraction? Well, really, it takes the fraction and flips it upside down, as in a reciprocal. So the negative 1 outside flips this fraction to 12 over x plus 2. Now we have a common denominator of x plus 2 in both of these, so we add 
That's 6x add on 12. We can't combine these because they're not like terms. And I see 6 is a GCF in the numerator. 6x divided by 6 is x. 12 divided by 6 is plus 2 over x plus 2. And the x plus 2, they're common factors top and bottom. So the answer to this problem is 6. So that's a review of adding fractions with common denominators. So we add up the numerators over the denominator and factor top and bottom and try to simplify it. If you like my video, click the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. Visit my website at www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And that's the content that's on my YouTube channel, Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.